everyone. My name is Christy and welcome to day 842 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil to try out. So I got this in base one and this is pretty much a multitasking pencil. It can be a concealer, it can be a liner. I'm really excited to play around with it and try out the different uses for it. So here's what it looks like. It's like the type of pencil that you have to sharpen, but it's very big. So I don't know if I have a sharpener big enough for this, but it has a very pointy tip to it right now, which is nice. So this retails for $18 at Ulta and it comes in three different shades. Base one here is the lightest shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch and let's see. So you can see it there. It's like a very thin line, but that looks like it should be a pretty good color for me. So this, since it's part of Anastasia Beverly Hills and they do so many great brow products, they recommend using this to outline the brows. So why don't I start out by trying to do that? This is matte, so it can be used as a brow highlight, but I typically like to use shimmering shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm filling in underneath my brow. And it's not looking as natural as I would want. Maybe now that I see it on my face, it's a little bit too yellowy for my skin tone. So I'm just kind of blending it along. Mm. I feel like that didn't really do anything enhancing for me. I never carve out my brows with concealer or anything like that. I used to, but it's so much work and I feel like it's not worth it. I kind of feel like it makes the brows look less natural and I feel like the brow trend these days is full shaped brows but still natural. They don't need to be completely cut precise, at least that's the type of brow that I like to do. So yeah, I don't love this on the brow bone. It looks textured and dry so I'm going to try and find a different use for it. So it could be used as a concealer, spot corrector. Let's see, I have this cut on my nose. Let's see if it does. I don't feel like there's much coverage from this. Let's try covering a blemish. It is a pretty nice creamy texture. but I feel like it's not really pigmented enough to be a spot concealer. Well, the main use that I'm hoping to get from this is to use it as a waterline shade. Like I have been on the search for a nude waterline eyeliner. So let's go ahead and see if this works for that. Ooh. It definitely applies really well onto the waterline. It shows up with good color. I think that's working. I like that. So look at the difference. This eye with the nude shade on my waterline versus this eye. I do feel like this eye looks more awake, a little bit bigger, widened. So I like that. Let me go ahead and apply it to the other eye. It really does stick really well onto the waterline and actually shows up with a brightening color. 
Yes, I really like that. I had not been able to find a good nude eyeliner yet, but this is my solution. <laughs> Even though it didn't work for, you know, spot concealing or outlining my brows, pretty much all of the methods that they recommended using it, I have to say, I really, really like this in the waterline. It's still lasting. <laughs> Usually if I put an eyeliner in my waterline, within seconds it's gone but this is working out great and it's like the perfect shade I feel like because it's nude but then it's light enough to be brightening oh I really like it for $18 I feel like this is very expensive to use as just my nude eyeliner but I am definitely going to use this as a daily makeup product. I could definitely see myself getting into the habit of applying this every day and then it becoming one of those makeup products that I just feel incomplete when I don't have on. I'm so pleasantly surprised by how well this sticks to the waterline and how much it lasts and how good it looks. So this product, which started off as maybe potentially being a fail for me, ended up being really successful. It's definitely tough for this to be considered a concealer stick of sorts when they only have three shades because that was one of the biggest struggles for me with this is that the color just didn't match me enough to conceal. If you can think of any other uses that I should use for this, let me know in the comments down below. They do say it could work as maybe an eyeshadow primer. I prefer more of like a creamy liquid eyeshadow primer rather than just like scraping <laughs> along my eye with a pencil like this, especially like a sharp, hard pencil. Like I love my AOA Studio eyeshadow primer or my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, but that doesn't mean that I shouldn't try it. You know, while that, now that I'm talking about it, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, it's just very time consuming, like to have to draw all over the eyelid, which is uncomfortable with a pencil like this. And then blend it out. I mean, it definitely seems like it'll work. It has some tackiness to it. So it does seem like it'll really grip the eyeshadow nicely, but I just wouldn't be so inclined to reach for this as my eyeshadow primer since it is kind of tedious to apply. But now that I have it on my eyelid, there is some slight noticeable coverage and it helped to cover some of the discoloration on my eyelid. So maybe if I was in a pinch and I just had this pencil and not my eyeshadow primer. I could use this. Although in a pinch, I would probably be more apt to use concealer. But I, I could see this working. I like adding a little bit of coverage over the discoloration on my eyelids, so this did do that slightly as well. So I think that would be another good use for it. It's still sticking to my waterline. I'm so excited about that. Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Stay safe and healthy.